Hi, this is Brian Wickland coming to you from Garfinkel Schwartz here in Maitland, Florida. Uh, we specialize in Defense Base Act work, um, helping overseas contractors that get injured. So I'd like to take a look at what's going on overseas with world conflicts that may be coming up um, just for, to, be, to put on everybody's radar. Uh, these are summaries that are based on what we've read in the news, gathered from government sources, um, the, defense, the Department of Defense, military, and some impartial sources that study world conflicts. Um, it's kind of what we like to keep track of so that our clients or our potential clients know what's going on and they can get the help that they need once they get injured in one of these remote areas. Um, let's start with the South China Sea. Regarding the South China Sea, the United States um, unsuccessfully met with China recently at trying to de-escalate tensions in this area. Um, China actually had decided on its own to reclaim the sea based on maps that are hundreds and hundreds of years old and they're trying to reclaim the sea obviously for economic purposes. Uh, Newsweek recently reported that China's claim to the area goes back thousands of years whereas more recent maps dated back about 130 years ago became disputed with European countries that are also claiming that area. However, China has called sovereignty over the entire area in terms of the sea that's alleged to belong to Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, and Vietnam. China is now claiming that most of the South China Sea were more than $5 million in world trade moves annually and where trillions of dollars in natural gas and oil is below the sea level. So China and Russia together have United Nations veto power and are disputing the decision by The Hague that said in August that China has no right to do what it's doing, trying to claim these areas below, below and part of the sea. And so we'll have to see what's going on with that. But basically, in short, Russia and China's power, um, may they actually may attempt to override the UN decision. And they might actually use brute force to try to do it, to, to claim these areas for China. Let's hope that this doesn't happen, but it might. What's notable about this part of the, the world in this conflict is that um, various news sources like The Guardian, Al Jazeera, Fox, The New York Times, CNN, Washington Post, all those publications have been reporting that China and Russia have begun combined military exercises in the South China Sea. Um, actually, as of Monday, September 12th, um, they've been doing these exercises, which was two days ago. Um, and they've done, this, this is the fifth time they've started doing this since 2012. So basically, Russia and China are now showing their military might and exercises are taking place right in front of the U.S. and its allies. This could create some conflict and overseas contractors might have to support the military here in the future, possibly. Next, we're going to the East China Sea. The East China Sea is an issue because China is encroaching on Japan's economic empowerment zone. So again, there's China again. Uh, why do we care? It's because China is antagonizing the United States ships in the waters that are nearby in the East China Sea. They're following and pursuing and harassing the ships. The thought is that the Chinese ships are trying to engage in disputes that could be used to escalate force between America and China, which would be a, a disaster. Um, hopefully we won't have to enter into that conflict zone, but there's a good chance that we probably will. Basically because of my work as lead counsel here at Garfinkel Schwartz working with people under the Defense Base Act, um, whether you're working anywhere near these areas, the East China Sea, the South China Sea, South Korea, Iraq, Syria, Libya, Afghanistan, or anywhere else in the world, if you're a contractor and you're currently not injured, um, you seriously put, should consider consulting with Garfinkel Schwartz for free or any other lawyer that actually knows what they're doing in terms of being a Defense Base Act attorney. Um, that, that just, that's just so that you know what your rights are in these crazy countries and these places that, that, that are kind of third world type situations. You want to know your rights ahead of time in case something bad happens. And the best way to do that is to contact an attorney that knows what they're talking about in terms of your, what your rights are under the Defense Base Act if, God forbid, you got injured. We hope you stay safe wherever you're working or soon going to leave to work. And no matter what the job, if you're traveling in one of these dangerous zones, um, you really, you really got to be prepared for what, what challenges may lay ahead, including any types of getting into harm's way, either mentally or physically, and not knowing what the process is and, and how a lot of people just get left behind and got, get sent back with a plane ticket and they don't have no idea how to seek treatment or what to do under the federal law. So you can call us anytime you want. I hope this was um, educational for you. You can call us anytime. Um, 
day or night, regardless of whether you're injured or not, just to talk about certain things. If you want some, inf some more information, I can definitely try to help lead you if you're interested in these areas. Um, otherwise, please stay safe. Again, this is Brian Wicklund with Garfinkel Schwartz. Um, have a great day and thanks for your time.